Hey, welcome back to We Watch the Movie. I'm Mike, and he's Jay. By the way, guys, we didn't get to say this in our last video, but uh, our new our new intro. We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie. We watched it. We watched a movie. Yeah. That was done by Jay Panic Productions. Thank you. Uh, she will be up here for most of the video. You can click on it. Check her out, guys. She's got her videos look amazing. She was nice enough to do this intro for us, which we love. That's and, awesome. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, and she's she's awesome. Her channel's awesome. Please go and check her out. You will not be disappointed. She does Blu-ray reviews and all sorts of stuff, and uh, it's just a great channel. So please, please, please subscribe to that. And thank you very much, Jay Panic, um, for doing that for us. We really appreciate Thanks it. Thanks a lot. Today we have another top ten for you. I just don't know. This is the top ten movies that we thought were gonna suck that we ended up really liking. All Number right. ten. Real Steel. With Hugh Jackman. Yeah. I was like, really? There's there's boxing... It's boxing. Transformers with boxing gloves. Yeah. That's what I thought it was going to yeah, be. Yeah, but, but when we watched it, we both really liked it a lot because it's, it's very inspiring. It really is in the core of it. It's like a Rocky with robots. Yeah, yeah. It kind of is. Yeah. Well, that, that was the tagline on it, too, when they did it. They were like, it's Rocky with robots. Is that what the tagline was? Yeah. It kind of... Yeah. I mean, it feels like the kind of like Michael Bay, like, special effects type movie, but it's actually just... It's it's more maybe even a guilty pleasure than anything, but it's just a fun, fun, easy movie to watch. And who doesn't like Hugh Jackman, right? Who doesn't? Me. Some people might not. I do. Uh, number nine is Die Hard 3. Die Hard with a vengeance. He's back for more. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson got added to the cast in this one. And, and with the Die Hard series, I kind of thought like after Die Hard 1, Die Hard 2, it was going to be kind of the same run of the mill. John McClane, go kick ass. I remember watching that. I was pretty young when I watched it. And they, they start out with that song, Hot Damn, Summer <laughs> in the City. And then the thing blows up and he's standing out there with that sign. What's the sub by the sign? I don't want to say It wasn't as good as Die Hard, but it was a hell of a lot better than Die Hard 2 and a lot better than anybody Go fuck with me, Rush. Have a lightning bolt up your ass. Zeus! <laughs> the Descent. Enter into madness. Really, when I first saw the trailers for it, I was like, no. And then yeah. I, when I watched it, because I think, I think the the uh, wallpaper cover for it was like the girl with blood all over her. Yeah, it was. And it was like, I was like shocked at like how much I liked it. It's about the group of girls that go mining and there's like vampires and stuff down there. It just looked like a typical. They're like, not vampires, Mike. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. They're not? They're like uh, creatures. Oh, well. But no, when you watch it, you're they're like, not vampires. You, yeah, they might be. <laughs> but no, you hear about it, it's like, oh, this is typical of another shitty scary movie. And I actually watched it on DVD when it came out. I was like, oh my god, this shit's actually scary. Dude, when she was crawling and those albino men started coming out, oh, I was like, oh my god, god it's albino men. Dude, that movie made me claustrophobic. I had to go get checked out. It's freaky. I have claustrophobia. There you go. <laughs> Eureka's Castle. Uh, number seven. For us, I know we'll probably get hate for it. Uh, and it's because it's such a long movie, people are like, Ew. Yeah, I The got Postman. Some of the worst reviews ever. Kevin Costner, The Postman. I loved it. I don't know why I watched I was a young kid when I watched this, and it still entertained me the entire time. I mean, I think the reason why I like it so much is I like post apocalyptic movies. Yeah. And I just. There was, I, dude, I remember watching the movie. I was like, I want to be a postman. <laughs> like, as soon as I was out, I was like, I want to go find a skeleton to get his jacket. It'd be a postman. And then ride a horse. And then take the letter. Go, I don't know why I like this so much. I've seen, it's a three-hour, 20-minute movie. And I've seen it like six times. Yeah, it's meant to be like a Braveheart-type like epic movie. And I guess it failed in that respect. But all the stuff you heard about, the reviews and stuff, you're like, this is, all right. you turn it on, you're like, this is going to be the shittiest movie of all time. And it's like... It's kind of good. Go, go, Kevin. I did. I got. I was like, oh, about Kevin. Kevin. And number six. This is a this is a two parter. It's, yeah. We couldn't decide which one. It's got uh, Rockstar, not the energy drink, the movie. The Mark. It's the Mark Wahlberg <laughs> special. It, yeah, Rockstar and Fear. I mean, he's looking through the door. I was like, let me in your fucking house. Uh, you know you're gonna let me in. So let me in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Was that Mark Wahlberg's first movie, Fear? It might be, yeah. That was a bad. He was awesome. And in that it was movie. scary as hell. Yeah, I, I, I remember that. The, the part that freaked me out the most is when uh, they're in that. They're like they're rich out their mansion, and they start like hitting the windows and stuff. And he's like, "What is this?" It was iconic to tell though in that movie that he was still fresh off Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch because there was still that. Uh, he was still kind of ghetto. And then Rockstar, which is, I, I was totally blown away by that because I, I was like. Mark Wahlberg's gonna be like a comedy kind of serious yeah. movie, and I was like, no, and then it was awesome. Yeah, and this is, I mean, it looks stupid. I this mean, is my mic stand, and I'm taking <laughs> Still dragging. Well, what's the song? Uh, the, uh, Wasting my soul. I don't know the word. Dun, 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 dun. It makes my stomach tear. Huh? And it tears my flesh I like the... bone. Did you like I get is excited. There a mute I get excited. I'm I wish sorry. there was a mute button so people could just mute it really quick. Uh, you can do your own thing, which I respect. <laughs> but in, while you're in Still Dragon, you do the Still Dragon thing. <laughs> Number five, uh, yes, 8mm, Nicolas Cage. Yes. But you watch the DVD and you're like, this is probably going to suck. I think I rented it on just a whim. I saw it, I kind of read too. the back of it, and I was like, oh, I might be good. And I was like, oh my god. Dude, because it was so, like the material in that was so heavy, yeah. and the way Nicolas Cage was able to portray that character was awesome. Like, I'm my, one of my favorite scenes is when he finds out all these, you know, the, the what are they called? What kind of films are they called? Snuff. Snuff films were, being going, were going on, and he calls the mother. And he's like crying on the phone. He's like, just give me permission to kill him. Yeah. Just let me know. And she's That's like, an yes. Awesome scene. I know. 
Who was the guy in the... James yeah. Gandolfini was the bad guy. No, James Gandolfini. I'm talking about who had the orange hair. Or uh, no, it was the blue hair. Joaquin Phoenix? Was Joaquin Phoenix, He was yeah. a porn shop clerk. The 8mm too sucked, though. Yeah, that one really bad. Uh, number four, Casino Royale. Yeah. We, we kind of debated putting it that high up on the list, but if you look at it with, with Pierce Bronson being James Bond up until Casino Royale came out and it was kind of going downhill, you were like, I don't know. And then when Daniel Craig was announced as being the next James Bond, you're like, he looks nothing like yeah, James Yeah, they Bond. showed the, I remember they showed the stills of him coming out of the water in the Speedo, and you're like, this is going to be bad. It's, he doesn't look anything like a James Bond character. Yeah. He looks in it, in it, but it was badass. It was badass. He was a little ninja on the rooftop. Quantum of Solace that did suck, though, again. It's Quantum of Shame. Shame with it! Ah! Number three, Saul. Uh, yeah. Saw. There was it was just about power. Again, tools. it just looked like a stupid. Okay, we're going to see a stupid horror movie. It came out right around Halloween. I remember watching. Yeah, it. you remember it took place in Lowe's around the hardware area. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> you shut your mouth. That was a movie. When what you the watched. French toast? That's one of those few movies you watch when the ending comes around for the first time. You were like, oh, I'm, that was actually really what was good. What's the dude's name from the Robin Hood? Movie? Carrie Ells. Carrie Ells was awesome. Yeah, he was. And I was that was another shocker for me. I was like, wasn't he Robin Hood Men in Tights? And yeah, and again, this is another movie that you thought would suck. It didn't suck, but then the sequel did suck. <sighs> Hellraiser Inferno. Hellraiser number five. Now this movie, uh, I rented this. I I'm always been a fan of the Hellraiser, even you know, the shitty ones, because I think yeah. Pinhead's a great character. Yeah. Um, but I watched Hellraiser five and it really scared the shit out of me. Yeah. Hellraiser five was a straight to DVD movie. What I liked about it, it was like that there was the, the the bad guy was the human. Yeah. You know, and the, and Pinhead was was there, but he was kind of like peripheral. Yeah. And it was just this guy's own uh, hell that he was struggling with. Yeah, and it's also one of the more <clears throat> entertaining Hellraisers. Yeah. They had the, the the crawler. So number one. For gonna, us. Get I, I, gonna get some hate. Gonna get some hate. Butterfly effect. Yeah. I um, stole it from you. I said it Ashton first. Kutcher. Ashton Kutcher and the Butterfly Effect. I freaking love this movie. Man. It's awesome. Am I, do you know what I say? Ashton Kutcher in a serious movie that's dumb or whatever, but... That's what I thought. Dude, that, that movie, it's got... it's a, To me, that's a great sci-fi movie. It's got the, the elements of time travel and stuff like that. It's a freaky movie. It's freaky and it's entertaining to watch, but it's also kind of a horror movie. It's like that movie, it had everything that I liked. It had creepiness. It had a, it had a kind of a, a, a psychological thriller thing to it and a time travel thing to it, and I yeah. loved it. It's just an easy Did I say time travel twice? I don't know. Maybe. Mm. But you thought it was going to suck because it was Ashton Kutcher. It got bad reviews. Everybody was railing on it. And we watched it on DVD. It's one of those movies. We went to a friend's house, and they were playing it. We're like, whatever, we'll watch it. And I was like, it ended, and I was like, that was really freaking good. I watched it like twice after that. First I month. mean, it's got some plot holes, and it's got some Fuck stuff that. wrong with it. Fuck but. It. <laughs> I just see how many times I could say before you looked at me. I mean, it may give us some hate, but I mean, you got to think about it. I mean, Ashton Kutcher had never really done a dramatic, serious role like that. He did a perfect job in it. It had a perfect mix of good elements in it, yeah. psychological, thrill, time travel, all this stuff. Like I just said, yeah. awesome. Yeah, and keep in mind for those people who are getting ready to go to reply right now and be like, "You guys are freaking idiots," and I'm unsubscribing. Just remember, this is maybe this, would, this is maybe, a, maybe they wouldn't have said that if you didn't say that. Shush, shush, shush. You should unsubscribe. Let's finish what we say, Jay. Shut up. You unsubscribe. Um, Okay, well I will. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this is just our. This is for uh, our personal opinions. Uh, yeah, our personal opinions about movies that we thought were gonna suck that we ended up really liking. The idea came from uh, Henner Bo Binner. Henner Bo Binner. She does. Uh, she does movie reviews as well. She has a background a lot like ours. We both actually got our background in the same place from a blockbuster that was going out of business. But uh, check out her channel. We'll put a. Uh, Annotation right there. You can click on it. Please go to her channel and subscribe. She's got really good movie reviews and stuff on there. So thank you, Hinderbo Binner. I hope we're saying that right. What's the movie? The one movie that you guys watched that you were like, this is gonna suck so bad, and you sat down and you had your popcorn and you were like, not I, everybody eats popcorn all the time. And there, and, and and you were completely wrong about it. It ended up being awesome. What's yours? That's the question of the day. This has been we watched movie. I'm Mike and he's James. We're getting the frick out of here. You don't have to say it like that. We watched a movie. We watched a movie. We watched it. We watched it.